Hi, this is Dr. Swanberg, and I'm here to talk to you about your online English 101 class. You'll see that I'm in Blackboard on a PC, and it takes me automatically to my activity stream. And you can see that I've got a whole bunch of things for English 102 and 101, and it's very crowded and very messy and very confusing. And it only tells you the things that are due. It doesn't tell you all of the videos I've included. It doesn't give you your lessons and handouts or any of that. So I would like everyone's first thing they learn about this class is to know how to get to your classes in Blackboard. And that's by clicking on courses. Now, if you're on a phone or a tablet, you may need to find that in this in a little box that looks uh, that looks like uh, you know one of these icons here and look for it there. Um, but I want you to always click on courses and then find the course that you're going to. Um, and for us, that's this class right here. Um, and we open it. And then you'll see the things that you need to see for our class. One of the things that may happen is that you may see a pop-up. Please don't dismiss the pop-up. Those are your announcements. Um, the other place you can see your announcements is right over here on the side in announcements. Um, and you can also check them here in announcements and discussions. Okay. Um, and we'll take a look at the calendar feature a little bit later. Okay. Um, but this is where all of your work is. This week, we're going to be working in two places. We're going to work here in the Start Here menu, and we're going to get started in the weekly assignments. And this weekly assignments module, this is really where you live. This is where you visit every single time you come in. Now, we do have a live Zoom link. I'm going to actually, I'm going to change that right now while we're, while we're working. Um, so this is, I'm going to call these help sessions um, because um, this is uh, not required in an online class. You don't have to come to class, um, but I am offering live Zoom help sessions at regular times throughout the week that you know that I'll be there. Um, and um, that also encourages you to make a, an individual appointment at any point in time if you need one. And you know you can just meet me here at the time that you and I set up, you can just email me. Okay, um, I am going to point out one thing. This looks makes it look like you can send me a message, but when you send me a message here, it does not alert me that you have sent me a message, and that's just awful. Um, so I have put my email here under the instructor's contact information, and I'll show that to you right here. Um, this has my office hours and contact information. Um, it has my email and that's linked. So you can always go there and click on that and have that send me an email from you. Okay. Um, that is the absolute best way to communicate with me because it pings my phone wherever I am and whenever I am. You can email me at any time. Um, and I usually, if it's Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, I can usually respond to emails within 10 minutes or so. So really quick turnaround on emails. Um, I can also respond to an email even if I'm in a meeting or something like that when I would not be able to take a phone call. Um, so emails may actually get you a faster response than a phone call. Now, I do have a phone call if you need to talk to me, but let's use this sparingly. Maybe even use an email to set up a time for a phone call. Um, but I do have a phone available. Um, I will not answer calls from my Google Voice account outside work hours um, just to set that healthy work-life balance. Um, my office hours are kind of general. Um, generally, between 12 and 2 is a great time to reach me if you need individual attention from me. Um, and these are the set times when I'm available already in Zoom. I'll just be sitting there waiting for you. Um, I'm also inviting you to attend my um, virtual class. If you ever want to attend a class and join us for our discussions and make sure you really understand what's going on, you can log into that class at any time. It's the same Zoom link as yours. Okay, um, so you can treat any of these as a drop-in time in Zoom. You can just open Zoom and I should be there. If you don't see me in Zoom during that time, um, 
is shoot me an email and say, hey, I need your help in Zoom, and I'll pop right on, okay? Um, and again, there's that email. Now remember that over the weekend or at night, uh, your emails might have a delay in response time because I do like to spend time with my family and I have a responsibility to them as well as to you. All right. Um, so that's how to contact me and there's that live Zoom link. They like me to put it in more than one place, but it's the same link. Okay. This is where you're going to go um, every week. You're going to ignore that activity stream and you're going to come right here. You're going to see just one week open at a time. So right now you're going to do the week one activities, the week one activities, there's a little to-do list, um, and but you don't really need a to-do list because you're going to go into week one and you're going to do everything in week one. If it's a document, you're going to read it. If it's a quiz, you're going to take it. If it's a video, you're going to watch it. If it's an assignment, you're going to do it. So when you see week one, everything in there is due at the end of week one, all the time. Okay, um, and you'll notice that I have to go through and update uh, these due dates. And I'll do this one right now so you can watch the process that I have to go through um, because we copy this from another semester. So this is going to be due on 1 17 21 at the same time. Um, and I have to do that with every single assignment for the entire semester. So um, if you see an assignment that says it's overdue and it's from fall semester, please just ignore that while I catch up to speed to all of those due dates. I'm working on it as fast as I can, um, but it's not all going to get done in a day. Um, so here at the beginning of the semester, that may look weird to you, um, but that will get fixed. So please don't have a fuss attack over that. Okay? Um, so you'll see here I've got to fix this one too. Um, and then when week two is, when week one is done, I'll open week two and then I'll open week three. The most recent week that's visible is the week that you are currently in. Uh, up here in the start here menu, I'm going to go through these things because these are also, you'll notice this says week one, part one, um, and then the other will say week one, part two. Um, it's got a, a, a video on navigating Blackboard classes just in general. Um, you're going to read the syllabus, you're going to take this quiz, and you got to take this one before Friday at 8 a.m. to establish attendance. This is hugely important. You're going to read about our textbooks and software. I'm going to point this out. Um, our required software is Criterion Editing Software. You can't pass the class without it, um, so make sure you read about that. Um, there is a quiz here about understanding that criterion use is required and that you need to order it from the Lawson bookstore early in the semester and get it set up. We'll be using it in about week three or four. Okay. Um, this is the information you need from me to access criterion. And that will um, be my part of what needs to happen. But you also need to purchase the software a serial number from the bookstore and they have to send it to you in the mail. So you have to do your part up here and I have to do my part down here. And there's a quiz to take in week one that shows that you understand that. Okay. There is a link to a textbook. Um, I am not requiring this textbook. The things I'm going to ask you to read will be provided to you free of charge. Um, but if you would like to, to purchase access to this textbook, this is where you would access it. Um, and you can um, purchase it um, as you get it free if you've purchased another book in the Cengage Access. So if you purchase Cengage Access, you can access this for free right here and use it as support anytime you're confused and want a little bit more support. There is a master calendar here that shows you that we have assignments due on Wednesday and Sunday of every week and it helps you match the week that we're in to the calendar week. So week one is January 10th to January 17th et cetera, et cetera, through the semester. So this I would print um, and have nearby or input it into my calendar so that I can really uh, make sure that that's working. Another uh, navigational set of tips and tutorials here. Um, this is required computing skills. Take a look at that. This is very important. A lot of students waited until the midterm last semester before discovering their computers weren't compatible with Dr. U. And that was a disaster. So I'm asking you to check that right now. 
ProctorU has a website where you can check your equipment and see if it's compatible. And if it's not, this gives you several weeks to make a game plan for figuring out how you're going to take your midterm and your final in this class. Uh, so I'd like you to uh, get on that right away um, and make sure that you've addressed those issues. Uh, you cannot use ProctorU from a Chromebook. You can't use it from a tablet or iPad. Uh, so make sure that we're really ready uh, for that proctor you coming up and there's a quiz that says that you understand that um, ada information it's very important for you to understand that um, if you have ada accommodations like additional time on tests and projects that all you need to do is have your academic counselor send me that information and i will have that automated in blackboard for you all right uh, here is our link to our zoom help sessions once again again that contact uh, information for me and our weekly assignments and again this is where you live for most of the semester is in this weekly assignment section here again not the activity stream that's a disaster you're going to miss so much stuff that you need if you're going to the activity stream so make sure you're coming here okay uh, we're going to have a diagnostic essay this week it is set to a timer I do want you to work in the Blackboard space instead of typing it in Word and then uploading it because I really only want you to spend 75 minutes of it. And if it's not a complete essay, that's okay. I just want to see what you can do in that amount of time. It helps me to know that because our midterm and exam are timed and it helps me know how to coach you to be able to do your best work in those exams if you use this 75 minute time limit that lets me know what you're capable of in that amount of time and then i can coach you from there and um, we also have a discussion board discussion board initial posts are due by wednesday of each week and then your responses to peers are due by sunday of that week um, and um, please make sure that you are responding to peers and that you are participating throughout the week multiple times in the week, at least Wednesday and Sunday, um, if not more than that. Um, and you do lose points on the grading rubric if you're not responding to at least three of your peers um, and if you're not participating throughout the week. Um, so make sure that you're really engaging with those. Most of the time, our assignments and discussion boards are going to be pieces of our larger assignments that we're workshopping with each other um, and making sure that you get feedback on those pieces before they become part of a large assignment. So our weekly assignments that are small are going to be a 10 point assignments and then our major assignments will build from them. I um, mean if you're ever not quite sure how they're supposed to build um, that's what we'll have our video lectures on and our help sessions um, and all sorts of things like that. This week we don't really need to understand how all the pieces go together. We're just doing that diagnostic essay to let you know how you're getting started. All right, that's all you need to know for this week. So you have several things to do in the Start Here menu, and then you have things to do in the weekly assignments in week one. And I'm actually going to rename week one. I rename it right now. I'm going to rename it week one part two. So that you can see that it continues from the week, uh, the um, part up here, start one, week one, part one. And then you'll look down here and you'll see all the way down. I did a lot of scrolling in Blackboard, but that's okay. You can figure it out. Weekly assignments, week one, part two. Okay. Um, again, make sure you check your announcements. These announcements. Um, we'll also send to your Lawson State email account. So make sure that you're checking your email account. Make sure you're checking your others category in case it gets put in others or junk mail at first. Um, and I will be sending announcements sometimes once a week, sometimes more than once a week if there's a lot going on. Um, all right. I look forward to hopefully seeing some of you at those um, help sessions that are available this week. Uh, and I can't wait to work with you this semester. Please reach out to me at aswanberg at lawsonstate.edu, which is right here. You can email me right there. Um, and you can um, let me know what you need for help to get started.